And shalom, shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, Yahweh, being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawadah, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, well learned the truth from. Honest salutations and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. All right, so this lesson is going to be entitled, uh, We Speak Wisdom Among Them That Are Perfect. Okay, because. You know, uh, that's that's the elect, okay? And that's the only ones who, you know, um, as Yahweh Shai said, you know, that's the only ones that, that uh, are going to hear his voice, all right? Is the ones that were given unto him by the Father, all right? And that's who our, um, you know, our message is to, you know, for uh, salvation, okay? Even though we speak, you know, unto the world, you know, we are prophets unto the nations, all right? We, we know through the scriptures and through prophecy that, only the elect are going to be the ones who uh, hear hear these words and repent and turn back and say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. And that number, as the scripture says, is a small number, right? It's a little sanctuary. So we have to, you know, you have to understand that these words that we speak to the majority of the world, you know, right now, it seems like uh, foolishness, all right? Or it seems like, you know, doesn't seem like wisdom. All right, even though you have a lot of people <laughs> that come up and, and try to gainsay and try to combat what we say, just like how they did with Yahweh Shai, you know, they try to, uh, you know, uh, tempt him with questions and, and try to, you know, basically pick his mind, so to speak, you know, because they, you know, deep down, they knew that he had words of wisdom, but they didn't want to accept him. All right. They didn't want to accept him. They didn't want to listen to him. And, they, and that's the same thing that, you know, the majority of this world does right now. But. The words that we speak unto them that are perfect, those words are wisdom unto them. And that's why, you know, the sincere brothers and sisters that, uh, you know, are listening and learning, they are being edified constantly daily with the words, the, you know, the videos and uh, the, uh, the uh, teachings of the men of the Lord. Because those are very well, you know, uh, possibly are the, are the elect, okay? And that's, uh, you know, a, a, a good sign. You know, for you, you know, for you, you know, to, uh, you know, have that that you are listening and you are finding the words of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by way of his prophets edifying. All right. That means that, you know, you are basically on the right track. You know, you're going down that uh, that straight and narrow path, man. All right. So I'm just going to get into it. Lord willing, it's edifying unto the elect. First Corinthians two verse four says in my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. All right. Now, this is Paul speaking. He's saying that his words that he spoke was not of, uh, you know, enticing words of man's wisdom. OK, meaning what? Paul wasn't a great orator. You know, Paul wasn't, you know, up there, you know, uh, sounding like uh, 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 Obama or some shit. You know, you know, all these people that got ghostwriters and, you know, dropping, dropping uh, gargantuous <laughs> words, you know, and, and, and up there speaking you know with 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 enticing words so to speak making it seem like it's all uh you know a show or an act you know to to reel in the people no what paul was doing he was just he was speaking with regular you know regular words as he said though i be rude in speech yet not in knowledge okay and that's us right there man because you know the men of the lord are are you know to this world they're average men all right Hey, and some of them, you know, some people look at us as below average men, okay? Below average men, you know, meaning that we are not uh, 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 what you would call, you know, and um, appealing to to this world, okay? But as Paul said, he said what? He was uh, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, okay? And that's how we come in because we come in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let me get a quick scripture to back that up. All right. Um, it's the book of Micah, chapter three, verse eight. It says, but truly I am I am full of power by the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob 
his transgressions and to Israel his sins. All right, and that's and that's exactly the same mentality and what we, uh, that we're saying. You know, the same things that we're saying right now, man. You know, we're not saying, oh, you know, we got some great, you know, man's wisdom, and, and even though this this truth, you know, does give you, you know, wisdom that you haven't that you didn't have before of this world. Okay, you know, whether it be of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, wisdom of the of the herbs, wisdom of, you know, uh, uh, the botany of, you know, uh, of flowers, and uh, wisdom of, you know, how the, you know, certain things that that so-called you know our our wisdom of this world but really when you want to if you want to get actually really into it that's the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai too because that's the that's the you know the wisdom of the herbs and how it how different herbs can help you know your body or help your sickness or you know help your skin or whatever that's actually wisdom that pertaineth into you know life okay and 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 that really comes from the heavenly father Bashim Yahweh Shai all right but ultimately the wisdom that we uh, that we have is the wisdom to what to declare unto Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sins, so that they can repent and turn back unto the Lord, man. All right, so that they can have uh, may have eternal life. All right, and like how Peter told Yahweh Shai, where shall we go? You know, for you have the words of eternal life, and Yahweh Shai gave us those words, which are which are his words, to speak unto the house of Israel. Okay, and that and those words are not something that this world. You know, wants to you know uh, believes is wisdom because this world doesn't have faith in having eternal life, man. All right, which that only comes by way of believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, regardless. Okay, and that's why Paul said, you know, above this, that um, I say, you know, for I determined to know any. So uh, verse tw uh, two says, for I determined not to know anything among you save Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and Him crucified. Okay, which is what basically eternal life, because Yahweh Shai being crucified was our way back into the Father, which is back into you know uh, 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 having that everlasting life, having eternal life, you know, receiving the promise. Okay, and that's and once again, that's the wisdom that we speak among them that are perfect, and that wisdom is a uh, 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 seen and understood. Okay, and um, respected or reverence among. The, those that that are that hear his voice, the sheep that of Yahweh Shah. All right. So reading on. Uh, so I'm gonna jump back down to verse five. It says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. Verse six. It says, "How be it." All right. Actually, let me uh, let me uh, uh, speak on that real quick. Verse five again. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. That's right, because you know. The times that we are, are entering into, you either going to have faith in the in the in, in man's wisdom, you know, specifically Esau, which is going to lead unto your destruction, which is going to lead into your downfall. Or are you going to have faith in the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the words that we're speaking? Okay, when when all hell breaks loose, you know, when there's a you know complete chaos, anarchy on the on these streets, you know, which uh, Esau is going to. Esau is going to try to use that anarchy to implement his new world order, you know, a problem, reaction, solution, or order out of chaos, all right? He's going to tell you, he's going to tell the masses of the people, well, to have faith in what he says, all right? Have faith in, in his plan. But with the with the prophets, the men of the Lord are coming, are coming to say, or are coming out and saying, is that what? You have to have faith in the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, during these times, man. All right, and that's what's going to lead you unto to being delivered from the perils that are that are approaching. All right, verse six it says, "How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught." Okay, so the words that we're speaking is wisdom unto them that are perfect. And when you go into that word "perfect," it basically means you know mature or uh, or or uh, um. You let me just get it. It says um, complete, all right, whether uh, in various applications of labor, growth, mental or moral character, neutered, full aged man, perfect. Okay, and that's what we're supposed to be, man. We're supposed to be, you know, uh, 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 fully mature in 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 uh, in our moral in our mental uh, character. 
which this world doesn't have, man. This world is not mature, all right? Hey, that's why the scripture says that our children uh, um, rule over us, man. <clears throat> children are our oppressors, all right? The mentality of this world, the mentality of these people, they're not, they don't, they don't have a moral or, or a mental, you know, a, a completeness or perfection, all right? And that's why, that's why, um, you know, f uh, folly is setting great dignity because who, who really deals with folly a lot, you know, as their character, you know, children, all right? And the scripture tells you that the folly is in the heart of a child, but here in this world, here in this age, even among so-called adults, folly is set in great dignity, man. All right, whether it be women uh, uh, just twerking and, and acting a buffoon or niggas, you know, acting acting wild. All right, men that are supposed to be you know mature and full of age, you know, acting like little children. Okay, that's what's set in in, in high high standards right now. Hey, look at look at the so-called you know uh, chief of command, commander in chief or president of of uh, of America, man. You know, he even he acts like a child, but here it is. He's a he's the 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 leader of of the quote unquote free world, all right. He's a leader of 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 the so called greatest nation on the earth, man. And that just shows shows you how much these people in this world are 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 you know have no completeness when it comes to mental and moral character, man. All right, but the men and the women of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right. We we are we are full of uh, uh, of, of virtue, man, of, of integrity, all right. And these things you get through the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not the wisdom of this world, all right. And that's why we speak, all right. That's and that's what we select. That's what we speak. The the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right. So I'm gonna read verse six again. It says, "How be it? We speak the wisdom. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect." Not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. Okay, yeah, because you got what uh, 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 Stephen uh, Stephen Hawkins. He's supposed to be a leader or you know a, a wise man, but here it is. You know he was he was bound to a, a a chair, man. He couldn't speak. He couldn't move. All right, so he came to naught. But this world looked at him as a, some great some great mind. Okay. You know, the world looked at looked at him as some as this great as this great person, but here it is, his life was. Uh, when you talk about the the Lord can kill the body and soul in hell, <laughs> that's that was him right there, man. All right, he was done. You know, and that's just one of many of people of this world that that are considered to be wise, but yet, you know, they their their wisdom doesn't profit them anything, man. They come to naught. All right, but the wisdom that we speak, Lord, uh, Lord willing, if we be those men, it's going to bring us uh, a glory, man. It's going to bring us uh, uh, eternal life, salvation. All right, and and this world is going to, is going to see it. Okay, so verse seven it says, "But we speak the wisdom of of the power in a mystery, even a hidden wisdom, which the Most High Power ordained ordained before the world un, unto our glory." Okay, and that's the wisdom that we're speaking, man. All right, the wisdom that this world can't receive. So let, let me get that scripture next. All right, the wisdom that this world can't receive, and they're only gonna they're only gonna understand it once they see it, man. Going back to uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter the fifth chapter. All right, then they shall stand in great boldness. So let me pull that out real quick before I get this other. Wisdom of Solomon. 5 and 1. Then shall that righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they when they see it, when they see it, you see that? They shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. Okay, because once again, we're speaking that hidden wisdom, man. All right? We're speaking that hidden wisdom that the heavenly father has ordained unto our glory and then they're going to see it man once that glory once once the glory is revealed in us once Yahweh Shai returns and yeah, even before that there's going to be the Lord says he's going to make his chosen known then they're going to see it man then they're going to uh well understand the wisdom that we spoke of okay and how the and how the wisdom that they had or thought they had was really foolishness 
All right. So let me get this uh, scripture, which Yahweh Shai said, the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse uh, 21. It says, and in that hour, Yahweh Shai rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O father of heaven and, and earth, that thou has hid these things from the wise and, and prudent. OK, the wise so-called wise men of this world. All right. The so-called prudent men of this world, which really their their wisdom, once again, when they come, when they try to come up against the men of the Lord, it, it's it's shown time and time again that the the wisdom that they have is nothing, man. All right, you got these uh, uh, these uh, doctors and uh, um, you know theological uh, uh, scholars that try to you know come up against the men of the Lord, and it's shown proved that what they know, all right, is not real knowledge, man. Is not real wisdom. Okay, because. As Yahweh Shai, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, that I will bring, uh, I will bring to naught the wisdom of this world. Okay, it says that has hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and has revealed, okay, the hidden wisdom has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All right, so it was good in Yahweh Yahweh's sight to reveal these things unto the ones who are not speaking of enticing words or right? are the ones who this world were considered, you know, lowly all right, considered, uh, you know, nobodies. OK, but the words, once again, that we're speaking is wisdom unto them that are perfect, meaning what the elect. All right. Which is why ultimately this is this is who this is for, man. All right. St. John, chapter 10. Um, where is it at? St. John chapter 10, verse uh, 16, uh, so like 26, it says, But ye believe not, because ye are not my sheep, as I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. All right, once again, the wisdom that we speak is the wisdom, uh, uh, the wisdom that we speak is, is wisdom unto the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh them that are perfect. Okay? And those, and those, and those uh, individual spirits, were predestined from the foundation of the earth to hear the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So it says the ones who don't believe, well, they they weren't of the sheep of the Lord. So they weren't going to believe. All right? They weren't, they weren't, uh, uh, um, they weren't ordained un uh, to believe. As the scriptures we just read earlier said what? It was ordained by the Heavenly Father unto our glory. Okay? So, you know, with that, I'll close that out right there, Lord willing. You know, there's other scriptures. Actually, let me get one more before I close it out. It's a lock it. Um, with, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 18, it says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. You see? So us preaching, all right, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, us preaching, us edifying, us doing these vi videos to, the, to this world which lies in wickedness, to them is foolishness. You know, that's why they, you know, uh, uh, mock us. You know, that's why they misuse us, as it tells us in uh, the book of uh, First Chronicles, okay? Or, or I believe it might be Second Chronicles, where it says they misuse the prophets, okay? Because they think what we're doing is foolishness. But at the same time, the Lord is working, all right? And the Lord is bringing to pass all of these prophecies that we spoke about, okay? That the Lord has given us the wisdom to speak about. And now people are seeing that what we're saying isn't, isn't so far-fetched, man. Isn't so foolish, isn't so... You know, uh, uh, wild, so to speak. Okay, and now they're now they're coming to us slowly but surely. All right, trying to quote unquote pick our brains, just like once again how they did to Yahweh Shai. They trying to they trying to pick at our wisdom that we have. But as the scripture says, that a uh, hey, wisdom is too uh, high for a fool, man. If you're not supposed to get this, if you're just you know uh, of them that are are lost. All right, you're not going to get it, man. All right, the wicked shall do wickedly and none of them shall understand even though they're trying to understand but you won't be able to because it wasn't meant for you right it says but unto us which are saved it is the power of the most high yep verse uh, 19 for it is written i will destroy the wisdom i will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent all right and that's what you see and happen man because these these so-called prudent men they don't got nothing for for the, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which he has given, put in the mouth of the prophets, man. They don't have nothing for us, man. And that's why 
constantly, every time it's showing and proved that every time they come up against us, they get shut down, man. All right? Because the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are, are the words of wisdom. Everything else is what? Foolishness. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not, the, have not power made foolish the wisdom of this world? Okay? So, yeah, with that, man, Lord willing, you know, this is edifying unto the elect, all right, to them that are made perfect through these words, all right? Hey, hey to hell with everybody else, man, because as the scripture says, um, so lock it. <laughs> as the scripture says, man, that uh, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. Okay, right here, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay, so with that, Shalom.